to do in jail works. Change not the brake pads. Once I safely secured the vehicle with the chuck, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this, place the pads, and then repeat the same thing with the other side of the vehicle. Let's get started. That's a what? 1116. It's got an on and off switch behind me. So let's go off. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to change out brake pads on your vehicle. This is actually a job that you can do yourself. If I can do it, you can do it. And save some money in the process. Once the screws are loosened on the back of the brake caliber, you're gonna go ahead and take it off and you're gonna go ahead and peel out the old brake pads. I use a flathead screwdriver to do this. There's a bit of a comparison between the old one and the new one. As you can see, the new one is thicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this one following the same orientation as the first. That way it can fit right in. Keep in mind that brake pads need to be changed in pairs. You have both the front and back brake for both left and right sides of the vehicle. Do the same thing on the back. Back is a little bit more challenging because you can't really see, but it takes a little bit of finessing. And once it's all lined up, mirroring the front side, it all click in place. Real simple. I should also mention that I'm working on the 2013 Infinity JX35. Let's deal with this now. So, so these two pistons, that thing there and that down there, they have to get squeezed in so that the brake harness can hug these pads because they're thicker than the ones that were in there. So now I got this on. I can lay that flat on that. And the reason why I'm putting that over it so it can get even distribution of force so it closes evenly. Mm -hmm. All right, look. Yeah, one is further down than the other. This one's gonna get squeezed in too, same way. You gotta squeeze it flush. Like all the way down. So I'm squeeze. And as I squeeze, it's going in. Oof. Put some power. Alright, now that I got those squeezed in as best as I can get them, time to flip them around and finesse them on top of these so that they squeeze like this. At this point, the job is about 80 to 90% complete. All I'm doing now is repeating in reverse the few steps I just got through doing. Once the pads are in, it's pretty much a reverse operation to get the caliber back in place. Um, as you can see, the bolts aren't tightening. So to remedy this issue, I grabbed my pliers and I held down on the bottom side which has a bit of a place you can hold it with. And I simply tightened it as normal. And this eliminated the free spinning motion and I was able to tighten it all down. And at this point, I'm basically 98% done. Oh, and if you're doing this, you may wanna go ahead and oil everything up while you're at it. And that, my friend, is how you change brake pads. It's really that simple. So now I'ma pump my brakes up, release my parking brake, take it for a test drive and get ready to stop on a dime.